dan batu tepur dan batu mana glass itu dah arkatila arkamins sangat sun also you can hear in navadi gyan this case to get the mercy from lord chetan mahaprabhu then the arkatila Sankar himself was praying to Lord Chaitanya to get his blessings. So Bhakti Nur Thakur prayed when I can see that Sankar in crying mood is praying to Lord Gauranga. Mayar Khatila. So Bhakti Nur Thakur is singing a song. उदिले अरुणा पुरव भागे त्रिजा मने गौरा अमन इजाग महाप्रभु इंस्टेंटली गेट अप एंड गेट रेडी फॉर नगर संकीर्तन बाय सीइंग राइजिंग सन तो राइजिंग सन आल्सो लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड गुरंग महापुरुष पर से ब्लेसिंग तो दिस इज आवर किला वी हैव टू प्ले सूर्य देव देव if you want to please Surya Dev, then you will get free from all kind of sickness. And the way to please Sun God is to Namaskar. Namaskar is Surya Priya. Just three times a day you have to Surya Namaskar. Jaladhar is Priya Namaskar. Upuvar is Upuvar is Upuvar is Upuvar is Upuvar then you have to do fasting. You have to please Lord Shiva, then pouring water. And you please Sun God. Then you have to do the same thing. Then you have to do the same thing. Then Isma Tila. Isma, all of you know, you are the son of Ganga Devi. So Ganga Devi is here. So, Ganga Putra Isma, his father Sami is Maharaj Santanu. So when Maharaj Santanu had agreement with Ganga Devi for marriage, at that time Ganga Devi made an agreement with him that please don't oppose me, don't say anything to me. Whatever I will do, you don't have any complaint, you should not have any complaint. If you say one word opposing me, then I will leave you. <laughs> Nowadays we are also very... <laughs> so, so you, you can take this example that it is happened. Ganga Devi, we are worshipable mother Ganga, she has that <laughs> condition with her husband. So, but that is different case. So, Mara Santanu got child from Ganga Devi, and Ganga Devi took the child and showed him. Mother. So, it. next time, same thing happened. He got so shocked, but he, he, he can't say anything because he's losing his wife otherwise. So, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, then Maharaj Santana said, This is too much. <laughs> Whatever son I'm getting, she's is killing them. Seventh one is also did something. The eighth one, then uh, Maharaj Santanu said, no. We object. What kind of mother you are? He said, okay. Thank you, I am going. <laughs> I will not stay with you. So, he, But she took the child, but how the father will grow the child without mother? So, Mother Ganga took the child with her don't worry, I will bring you back your child in right time. You don't have to worry. So Mother Ganga took, that time was, his name was Devabrata. So she took him to celestial planet, Swarga, and there uh, Bhishma Dev got educated from celestial university, not from this material university. Brahaspati and all that, Parasuram, they teach him there. <coughs> so when he 
came down. Bhishma Dev, uh, Devbrata, he converted to Bhishma by doing Pratigya. When Santanu Mara Santanu saw a girl rowing boat, she was called as, uh, before she was called Matshagandha, because she was Apsara but somehow rather cursed, so she burned out of a fish. So from her body always stinking fish things come out, but nobody used to marry her. So her father told them you have to do some job. She was rowing boat in Jamuna, getting some income. So Parasar Muni, he knew that I have to beget a child who will be Vyasadeva. So he was searching for a good candidate. So he saw this Masyagandha. She was alone rowing boat. Then he proposed. Then she said, okay, I can agree, but uh, without my father's permission, but one thing you have to fulfill my desire. What? But this stinking smell is coming from my body. Can you do something for it? No, okay, don't worry. Now again, without permission of my father and all that, I am getting engaged with you. So my chastity, no, don't worry for that. I will take care of that. So Parasar Muni, he made an island inside Jamuna. And by his yogi power, he beget a children from Machigandha. And he said, I will take it now with me. So he said, what about my... He said, now my blessings, you will be Jojanagandha. Jojanagandha means, Jojan means at least four kilometers or more than that. So smell from like lotus flower will come from your body for four or five kilometers. So she became Jojana Gandha from Masya Gandha by the blessings of Parasra Muni. And he also blessed that you will be Kumari. Nobody can figure it out that you have bigot children or not. And he said, okay, he is my past son, so how can I contact? Now, then uh, his son was Vyasadev. Vyasadev said, my dear mother, keep my emergency number. Whenever you want, you can give me a call. I will come you. So he gave me. <laughs> He gave her his emergency number and they left. Parasar and Vyas, they left. So, they are Mashyagandha now, Jojanagandha. So, when she come back to her house, so everybody was, how come she was so much changed now? So, everybody want to marry her now. Now he is selected, she is selected. Even Emperor Maharaj Santanu, when he saw Jajanagandha, he was uh, ready to marry her and he proposed. Then her father, he told, yes, who will say no to you? You are the king. My daughter will be the queen. But the thing is that, because Bhishma Dev was there, Rajadeva Brad, he said, my daughter will be queen, but his son cannot be prince. So that is my thinking. If you can make me promise now, that the son coming from my daughter, um, Satyavati, he can be the prince, he can be the king. Then Maharaj Santana said, no, I can't promise like that. I have Devrata as my son and I know he is special. I, so then he said, I, uh, please excuse me. So Santana Maharaj became very unhappy. He didn't agree but he was not happy. So, Devabratta, he find out the reason why his father is so unhappy. So then he do the research and find out from the driver. He said, the driver said, we take me to the place, what happened? The driver tell him the all story, then he took him to that Das, das Raj, the father of Satyavati, Jojanagandha. So there then he said, okay, you agree? Now, this is the, now, I am the prince. I am telling, I will not become king. Whoever son come from Satyavati, he will be the king. He said, okay, you are promising? Me. Yes, I am making promise. I will never ever become king. Now, I will not become king. He is not Pakka Khetriya. Her son will not be so powerful to protect the country. So then what do you want? 
I want you to be there to protect the whole country, protect the king and country. Okay? He make the promise. One more thing now, what? You may not be the king, you will be the protector, but what about your son? He will become king. <laughs> because <laughs> her generation will be, cannot be compared to your generation. Then Vishadam took another promise, that okay, if you want, then I will not marry. Then no question of son. Hmm. So there are three promise, form promise he took, then he converted from Deva Brata to Bhishma. Bhishma Dev, he sometimes came to see because uh, Ganga Mata was also called Janavi. So because in Janudip you must have heard that last time. So one time Bhishma Dev came to see her Nana, his grandfather, Janamuni, mother's father, Janamuni in Janudip. And Janamuni advised him many things. Mm. And also Janamuni told about Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu, about the Navadip land, how dear to Lord and how um, golden avatar will appear here, see Gauranga Mahaprabhu. By hearing this, Bhishma Dev was offering prayer to Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And while he was sleeping in the bed of Aros in Kurukhetra, at that time when Krishna and Pandavas, they went to him for instructions. At that time Bhishma Dev also instructing many things. At that time he was singing the uh, Sahasra, Vishnu Sahasra Nama. At there also he mentioned, mm, Suvarna Varna Hemango Varango Sandanangadi Sanyasa Kutu Samahasanta Nishta Santi Parayana. He was mentioning about Lord Gorang Mahaprabhu. That Lord will be there. So, Vishmadev was mentioning even Yurishthi Maharaj about the Navadip land and Dadam Goranga Mahaprabhu. He was at that time, at the time of his death. So, Vishmatila, you can see where Vishmadev met Janamuni. And then you will see, you will pass through Vaikuntapur and Mahatpur. There it is said that. Ramalila happened. Even when Lord Ram was vanished, when he was in Banavas, so he was wandering in the forest, Ram, Lakshman, Sita, they came here also. In that, where you will, now the big banyan tree is not there. Otherwise the deeper name, Maudadruma, happened because of that tree only. The tree is Druma Brikhya. Druma means a big banyan tree. Maudadruma, because under that tree, Sita Ram Lakman they used to stay in Parnakutir, and Gorang, Lord Ram smiles. Sita Devi said, "What happened? Why you are smiling?" Then Ram told, "Okay, in future I will be up, I will come here also. I will appear here as a son of Brahman." So then Sita Devi said, "Please tell me how you will be and all that." So then Mahap. Lord Ram was explaining, he said, you close your eyes, I will show you. So that is the nature of Lord, whenever he wants to uh, disclose something, he said, okay, you close your eyes. So Sita Devi closed her eyes and Lord Ram saw her inside the Gaur Lila. Mm. So by seeing the Gaur Lila, Sita Devi became so pleased, so pleased in Sanskrit, pleasing called Moda, Modita. The Moda Druma. She gave the, under the Druma Brikhya, the, under the tree, become so much pleased. So the island name became Moda Druma. She became so much pleased. So Lord Sita also heard from Lord Ram about Gorang Mahaprabhu and she started meditating and Lord appeared in front of her as Gorang Mahaprabhu, golden avatar. And then he became Lord Ram and they went. So it is also mentioned that in Mahatpur, even Madhva Acharya, Ramanuja Acharya, they all also came there because all Tirtha Bhumis, all the Acharyas, all the Siddhantas, in the Vidya Nagamavasar, all the Vedantas, any Vidya, any kind of Vidya, everything, is in Navadip Dham. 
सो इफ यू डू नवदीप धाम परिक्रमा देन यू विल गेट होल यूनिवर्सल परिक्रमा दी बेनिफिट यूनिवर्सल परिक्रमा ऑल विद्या वेद एंड ऑल तीर्थ एवरीथिंग इंक्लूड सो दैट्स आवर आवर आचार्य गिविंग दिस वन वीक प्रोसेस फर्स्ट प्रोसेस प्यूरिफिकेशन एंड अचीवमेंट एवरीथिंग विल गेट टू दिस नवदी मंडल परिक्रमा any you must have com uh, completed many times but is not getting that is another case he said that ramanuja got ordered from uh, jagannath puri from uh, lord jagannath in chetna charitamrita it is mentioned that when lord uh, when ramanuja acharya saw in jagannath puri the process of worshiping they said no they are doing something wrong i should consult with king i should change them i should give them training so the pandas they are said they are not, not so much educated they say oh, where will go to for dt worship training now we don't know our parents from our hereditary we are doing this so they pay to the lord jagannath then i said don't worry i will take care of you so at that night it is mentioned chatrapati to jagannath through ramanuja acharya few hundred miles away but bhaktino thakur saying no 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 jagannath came to ramanuja and told you better go to navadeep i was spending wasting time here go alone he said i am with you no, i am there also as a gaura so that said jagannath is gaura and lord ram is gaura jai krishna sai gaur sai jagannath so jagannath also told about gorang mahaprabhu last time to ramanuja and he told don't take anybody you go alone and you will see me there in gaur farm so ramanuja came from puri alone without telling anybody all his servants are searching next day morning they couldn't find so ramanuja came here and the gorang mahapur appeared in front of him he said don't worry you go back in kurma khetra you will meet your followers hmm so ramanuja acharya also he came here and pray for lord gauranga and sir gauram much more before gauram mahaprabhu appeared similarly madhavacharya also he came and gauram he gauram also gave him darshan he said um, you go back now and stay here then said i want to see your past time when you will be there okay that can be arranged you will come as a brahman but now you have to go so today in this course you will see all these places but you cannot see anyway you have to pass through but you have to pass through that place all these places so all these places we have to meditate on dasya anga bhakti bhav dasya anga dasya bhakti is that anga bhakti which includes all nine angas even if you are madhuri you are still dasya you are in bachali you are still in dasya but dasya bhav includes all anga of bhakti and the bhakti starts from dasya only the shanta is not bhakti the attitude of service starts from dasya and it will still stay till end madhuri bhav so dasya is common so if all of us want to have some bhakti starting to the end Hmm. Dasya to Madhurya. So this course of Parikrama today we should meditate upon. Hmm. And uh, all other lords, all other process that is difficult. But this Navadi plan is so merciful and so dear to Lord. And the our Lord Gorang Mahapuji is so merciful without considering any qualification. He said, "Don't worry. You don't have to go through tapasya." so much gyana dhyana pranayam nothing just chant and dance no need of any qualification so if you just take part in this harinam kirtan among the group of devotees and pass through this so i hope when you will reach pratap nagar by that you will realize the se bhakti <laughs> <laughs> श्री गौरांग महाप्रभु की
समवेत भक्त वृंद की श्री नमदीप मंडल परिक्रमा की परिक्रमाकारी भक्त वृंद की निताई गौर हरि प्रेमानंदे Thank you very much Vaishnava Maharaj. We're going to have a quick drama. Huh? Janu Muni pastime. What about the drama? Huh? We spoke about Janu Muni yesterday. Who wanted to speak on Janu Muni? My dear devotees, as you know, Mahadev, Krishna Mahadev. is the supreme personality of God. By the order of Narayan, here to Kailash, he is the source of all incarnation. Oh, Narad Muni, welcome, welcome to the Kailash. Mahadev. From where you have come from? Oh, Mahadev, you're looking so ecstatic. Mahadev. I have come from Vaikuntha. Oh, there, my Lord Narayan Vaikuntha Nath has revealed something so extraordinary. He was describing this beautiful place, Navadweep. Navadweep. He then became this wonderful golden form Goranga Goranga He described how he would come and perform his leelas here in Navadweep Goranga Really? Goranga 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 Navadweep. Yes, it is so beautiful. Just as my Lord has described this land of Navadweep, where Goranga will appear. But now I am. I'm here. Will will I see my Lord Narayan also by Kuntanath? Narayan! 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 Oh, my Lord! Narayan! No! What? Goranga? You are also going to appear here in this place, I know. Will I be here to see you? Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Go Ranga! Go Ranga! I will be here and I will know this place as Vaikuntapura, the place where Go Ranga appears and Narayan appears and I, Lara Muni, I'll be there too. Go! Thank you. Okay. We're ready to go. 
All right, we're going to go and see Vaikuntapur, Narayanapur. See if you can see Lord Garanga there also.